Hi guys, I'm Yasmeen. I'm the editor in chief of the Diamondback. I'm here with our football writers and sports editors, Connor Letourneau and Josh Vitale. We're here to preview this weekend's game against UConn at home. The Terps are two and zero, and UConn's one and one. So, Connor, I know there are some interesting storylines to this game. Do you want to talk about them? Definitely. Um, the big storyline, storyline, obviously, with this game is the fact that Randy Etzel used to coach at UConn, coached there for twelve years before leaving in January two thousand ten to come here. And the circumstances uh, around his departure were kind of interesting. Um, UConn made the 2010 Fiesta Bowl, lost to Oklahoma. After the game, he asked running back Jordan Todman to get up, announce his decision to enter the NFL draft. Then about 12 hours later, he signed his contract with Maryland. Uh, so I know a lot of people were really upset that he didn't, uh, he was, he didn't say his decision to his team that night. And I talked to Jordan Todman this week. He said that there's going to be a lot of motivation on UConn's uh, side heading into this game and that they haven't forgotten that. Josh? Another interesting storyline is uh, Don Brown, Maryland's former defensive coordinator. Uh, he coached uh, here for two years, and as soon as Randy Edsel was hired, a month later he took the defensive coordinator position at UConn. So a lot of his former players are still here. A.J. Francis, Joe Villano played in his defense here. So he knows the guys. They know him. It should be an interesting matchup on the defensive side of the ball. Connor, who do you think will be this weekend's key players? I definitely think the the key player for Maryland is Justice Pickett, um, the running back, the sophomore running back. Uh, at this point in the season, it's really important that Maryland establishes an identity in the run game, which they haven't really done. Um, Justice Pickett is the starter going into this game, but nothing's really guaranteed. He's had an up and down first couple games, two touchdowns, but his yards per carry is not great. He'll need uh, an explosive performance against UConn to guarantee that starting job over Brandon Ross, who's probable to come back this week. Um, and it's going to be tough because UConn has a really solid D-line. Uh, they're number one in the nation in rush defense right now. Josh? I think the key player will be Stefan Diggs. Uh, like Connor said, UConn has a very solid rush defense, so Diggs is going to be the guy who has to kind of get the ball in his hands, make some plays on the outside. Uh, if Pickett's tapped at the middle or Ross is tapped at the middle, if uh, Perry can get the ball in Diggs' hands on the outside, they should be able to make some plays out there. Connor, what do you expect to see from Perry Hills this weekend? You know, Perry Hills had a really, a really solid week last week at Temple, uh, bouncing back from a, a tough uh, three interception performance in his debut. I, I kind of expect uh, Perry Hills to, to take a step back this week. He's going to be seeing a defense um, a little bit more intense than, than Temple's. He's going to see a lot of blitzes, uh, which is something he kind of struggled with against uh, William and Mary. So I expect him to get a little bit rattled um, and uh, throw at least one interception. Josh? I think we'll see a, a similar similar performance than we saw last week against Temple. Uh, he'll be solid. Uh, he won't make he won't make great plays. He won't do anything great to win the game. But he'll be solid. He'll he won't make mistakes. He'll limit the turnovers. And I think he'll have a solid game this week. And what would you guys say are your final predictions for tomorrow's game? I think it's going to be really competitive, um, a really competitive de- defense oriented game. Uh, but I do expect a couple big plays from guys like uh, Stefan Diggs. So I'm going to say Maryland 21-14. to 14. Josh? I think it's a little lower than that. I think it's an ugly game. I think the defenses, you know, really get after each other a lot. I think it's 14-10 Maryland, but I think it's a low-scoring game throughout. Thanks for joining us. Come back Monday as we recap tomorrow's game.